hi. Say, I'm three months now. Say, I three months now. Say, I'm a big boy now. Aww. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Bradley Party of Six. If it's your first time watching our channel, just make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell also so you can be notified when we post videos such as these. So I'm super excited to be doing this video. This is an update on my breastfeeding routine. So as you guys know, or if it's your first time watching and you don't know, I am an exclusive pumper. I do not have MJ feed off of me. This is MJ, by the way, if you didn't know. <laughs> I do not have MJ feed off of me. We exclusively pump. So I use either my Spectra S1 or I do have an LV wireless breast pump that I use daily. I did a full review on both of these pumps back in my first video. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I will make sure to link it up there in the cards. Make sure you go check that out. MJ was only a few weeks old at that point and we were just really getting into the groove of breastfeeding. So now my routine has completely changed. So I wanted to make sure I updated you guys because I got a lot of great questions and great feedback on that video. So again, I do exclusively pump and when I first started pumping, like if you would have seen my video back then, I was pumping between six and eight times a day just to make sure my milk supply came in and, and I got a good a good flow. But now I've taken it down because I have a tremendous oversupply. So now I've taken it down to four to five times a day that I pump and things are going so well with that schedule. And the four times a day just really depends depends on if I'm out and about and maybe I don't have my pumps with me or I just don't feel like pumping and I'm not that uncomfortable but most of the time I have to pump five times a day because it just gets uncomfortable. I don't have a set schedule so it's not like I pump at three at six at nine it's not like that I pump whenever I feel the need to and that usually again equates to five times a day so I'm just gonna take you guys through my routine and show you what I do um, as you guys saw I already pumped today and it was about almost 7 a.m. so that's when I finished pumping around 7 a.m. it is now close to 11 a.m. and we're going to pump again So I just finished pumping. I put MJ down for a nap. Hopefully he gives me a couple hours to do some work. But I wanted to show you how much milk I got. This is an average pump session. I got four and a half ounces in this bottle. And then I got like five and a half ounces in this bottle. So 10 ounces, I will get anywhere between 10 and 20 ounces per pump. And that all depends on how much water I'm drinking. Like the more water I drink, the more milk I seem to get. That also depends on the time of day. So in the mornings, I don't pump overnight unless MJ just wakes me up and I'm like, fine, I'll just go ahead and pump. But I usually don't pump overnight. So I'll go, my last pump is usually between 11 and midnight and then I'll pump anywhere between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. That's when I usually wake up when I'm just so uncomfortable I'm like I can't even sleep anymore or MJ wakes up and wakes me up one or the other so um, in those instances in the morning I'll get 20 ounces of milk and that's just I mean easy I'll get 20 ounces of milk I pump anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes a session and the 30 minute sessions only happen in the morning when I'm super super full because I haven't pumped all night but most of the time I keep it between like 16 and 18 minutes and that's usually good for me this particular time I pumped 16 minutes exactly and I got 10 ounces of milk so what I'll do after I pump is I determine if I'm going to put the milk in his drinking bottles or if I'm going to freeze the milk. So I'll go to, we do have a mini fridge upstairs and there are four bottles upstairs right now. So that one's pretty well stocked. I'm going to go to our big fridge and see how much milk is in there. And if it's a good amount, then I'm just going to go ahead and freeze it. So I just checked to see what's in here. And I do have, I keep all his bottles like in this little 
compartment right here. So I do have three bottles. This is like six ounces. This could be probably two feedings. So he eats anywhere from three to four ounces per feeding. That's a whole feeding and that's a whole feeding. So that's seven um, bottles that he has ready to go. So I'm just gonna freeze this batch. I'm gonna show you guys my frozen milk stash as well. I need to make it to Target today because I'm down to like my last five bags. And this is my third box of 100 that I've used up. And so I'm going to get another box of 100 at Target. And I, I mean, I have oversupply. So like I said, MJ eats maybe three to four sometimes he'll go five ounces per feeding and he feeds probably every three to four hours so that's all he'll drink and i'm making every four to five hours i'm making at least 10 ounces of milk so every day i'm probably getting six, 50 to 60 ounces of milk easy and he's only eating probably 25 ounces of milk so <laughs> I have so much left over throughout the day and um, like I said I frozen almost 300 bags of milk I'm gonna show you guys my stash in a second I have milk here and I keep running out of space so I have to keep taking containers of milk to my mom's house to put in her deep freezer and also my mother-in-law's house to put in her deep freezer so if you do end up making that much milk and you have oversupply, I would recommend if you think it's going to go bad that you donate it because people are always looking for breast milk. Breast milk is very healthy for babies and some people just don't have the supply like that. So donating breast milk is definitely a good thing. Don't let it go to waste. What I'm going to do, since the breast milk is good for a year, what I'm going to do is... I don't know probably in a couple of months just determine how much i think he's going to drink and i'm gonna stop breastfeeding i want him to, to have breast milk for a year so i'm gonna try to stop breastfeeding at that point where i think we have enough frozen bags to get him to one years old i don't know when that's gonna be yet i don't know if that's gonna be at like seven months eight months i mean if he's a month shy of a year i'm fine with that um First of all, I don't think there's anything wrong with Similac. Everybody cannot breastfeed. Some people just don't want to breastfeed. That is perfectly fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with Similac. I only breastfed my first daughter, Morgan, for four months, and I exclusively pumped with her. And I did the same thing with my second daughter, Mariah, and I exclusively pumped, but I only did that for nine weeks. So if you got to go to Similac, girl, you do you, okay? <laughs> but this is the freezer bag. I use the lansano freezer bags and um i just put the date on it and i pop it in the freezer so let me show you guys my freezer stash real quick all right don't be alarmed i told you guys i have a lot of milk this is in the house this is our milk stash i couldn't tell you how many bags this is but as you can see like i'm freezing several bags a day so 810 that's today the bag i just pumped is 810 and then i have 8989 there's another 89 back here i'm freezing like four to five bags every single day so that's in here and then we're gonna go out to my deep freezer so i'm out here in my garage in my deep freezer i have this basket this basket and then there's one more down there and they are all completely full with milk so every time my milk in the house fills up i'll take one of these baskets i take them to either my mom's or my mother-in-law's to store for us and then i put a stash of milk from the house in these baskets and then i have more room in the house so with us running out of space my only saving grace is that we're moving and so we are trying to clear up our freezers we're trying to clear out all the food out of our freezer because we don't want to move it we have to move in with my parents if you guys have been watching you guys know this we have to move in with my parents for a couple of weeks before our house is built so um we don't want to carry any food with us if we don't have to so we're trying to clear out our freezer and so my, that's pretty much my saving grace is that um our freezer is getting 
like there's less and less stuff in the freezer so I can store more and more milk because if that was not the case I would probably have to stop pumping pretty soon because I'm just getting so much milk and I've taken down I don't really know what else to do I've taken down the number of times a day I pump like I said I was pumping seven to eight times a day and now I'm only pumping four to five and I am still making a ton of milk but uh yeah, it's 11.36. I probably won't have to pump again until... I'll probably pump again around 4. And we'll go from there. What's up, you guys? Oh, let's turn this down. What's up, you guys? So it is later in the afternoon. It is 4.22 p.m. So about 5 hours since the last time I pumped. And this time, I'm going to use my LV, which is my portable wireless pump. goes right in your bra, and you can take it with you. I have to go pick up my daughters you're right back there man so um i have the baby with me and we're headed to get my daughters but i'm gonna pop in the pumps before i go so you just turn it on i gotta see which one this is this is the right side and you literally just pop it in your bra i don't want to flash any nipple so i'll be right back in my bra they're not going anywhere and now I can drive and do whatever I want so I did do a full review on these pumps if you guys have not seen that review make sure you check out the um, first pumping video that I did and it'll have all the information on these pumps on that video but I did an entire review showed you guys how I use them my settings all that stuff so if you're interested in these pumps and you just want a little more information make sure you head to that video but yeah that's um this is the usually the time I pump around four to five o'clock and so usually I'm on the go at that time because I have to go pick up my girls so they're so convenient for when I am headed out um, I'm actually gonna stop in the target as well because like I told you guys I do have to get more freezer bags because my freezer is full <sighs> but that's it I'll pop back in once the pump stop and I will let you know how many ounces I got for this one okay you guys so I'm gonna have a real moment with you right now I was like getting ready to scrap this video I'm like man I haven't come back and really updated um, them on what happened today I didn't pump again so um, that's that but it is now 9 30 this is a real day for me because this stuff happens sometimes so I wanted to give you guys like a real day in the life of me pumping at this point and so my supply is so good four times a day is okay for me but um I try to do five when I can um it's just sometimes it's uncomfortable to do four also but since it's 9 30 I'm not going to be pumping again until about 10 30 I'm gonna just try to wait it out as long as possible which would be I pumped at around 4.30, so that'll be about six hours in between pumps, which I'm fine with. It's just getting a little uncomfortable, but I'm going to try to wait it out because um, I don't want to pump now because then I'll have to wait another three hours to pump, and I just may not be up for that long. So I just wanted to, this is, this is realistic, like exclusive pumping is hard work it's a job even if you're not so pumping six seven times a day even if you're only pumping like me four to five times a day it is a job so if you're thinking about pumping make sure you take that into consideration um you're tied to that pump and so and that's one of the reasons I didn't pump for so long with my other kids just because it's a lot of work but um, I just want to come in and let you guys know that because I'm like it's been hours at this point um, when I did pump my last pump with my LV I got 10 ounces out of that so that's what I usually get on the LV it could be more but the LV bottles are only hold five ounces of milk per breast so usually I'm not completely empty when I'm done with my LV but it is what it is it's a nice way to relieve myself when I'm out so I will be back and let you guys know when I pump again which will be in about an hour all right you guys so I just finished my last pump of the day I pumped right around 18 ounces so there's five ounces a piece in these LV cups and then we have just under 
five ounces here and then we have just over three ounces here so that leaves us with 18 ounces for the end of the night it's currently 10 41 p.m and this is going to be my last pump of the night if mj wakes up and wakes me up overnight i may pump overnight i doubt it because he's been sleeping through the night but if that happens then i may pump overnight so that's just a fluid thing but other than that this is the end of my pumping for the day so i just wanted to let you guys know that i don't know i just want to give some encouragement people get so discouraged with breastfeeding and pumping in general one i want you to take away from this video that if you don't feel like pumping if you don't feel like breastfeeding if that's not something that you really want to do that's on your agenda honey you don't have to formula works just fine so don't get frustrated about that if you want to increase your milk supply i find that one if you're pregnant or you just had a baby pump as much as you can at the beginning like as much as you can so at first i was pumping seven to eight times a day and i feel like that's how my milk supply came in so strong i didn't do that with my girls and my milk supply was nothing like what it is right now so pump as much as you can at the beginning um like when you first have your baby just pump every two hours and your milk supply hopefully should come in strong i also find that being hydrated is very very important so when i drink a lot of water when i'm super hydrated i get a lot of milk out of these boobs okay today i ended up drinking a half a gallon of water but sometimes i'll try to drink a gallon of water and i swear i feel like the water just manifests itself into milk and i get so much more milk when i am hydrated so that's another tip for you guys and just relax and don't put too much pressure on yourself like i mean i want to breastfeed for as long as possible but when i'm done I'm done and I feel like you know when you're done I'm not gonna stress myself out about it your baby will be fine don't get so stressed out about it that it ends up becoming a chore and it stresses you out there's enough to worry about especially right now so um, just enjoy the time you have with your baby but that's it you guys I hope this video was helpful for you and you enjoyed if there are any other questions maybe something I didn't cover or another video that you want to see just let me know down below in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one bye